This is your knee joint. It's made up of the femur on the top where your thigh is and the tibia and the fibula on the bottom where your calf and shin are. And also there's one more bone called the patella right there in the middle. We are gonna model this knee joint using some household materials and we're gonna see what purpose the patella has. So to model our knee joint, we are gonna use two rulers connected with duct tape so that they can bend freely. Okay, so two rulers connected with duct tape is all you need. Uh, and if you don't have two rulers, you can use two, um, any flat piece of wood would work fine. Actually, a round wooden dowel might work too if you have that. So, <clears throat> connect them with duct tape so that they can still bend. Now, you're also going to need a piece of string to represent our muscle because muscles are needed to pull on your bones to move them. So we taped this on one of them so you just have a nice long string to pull. So, the knee joint is gonna look like you're sitting on a table. So here's your thigh, and then here's your calf hanging off the bottom, the bottom part of your leg. So the muscle is going to pull over the kneecap like so. So when your muscle in your thigh, when you tighten that muscle, like when you're using one of the weight machines, where you lift the bottom part of your leg to work the top part of your thigh called the quadriceps muscle. You pull this muscle to lift your leg, okay? So you pull that muscle and lift your leg. Now I'm pulling pretty hard right now. And it's not lifting it very quick or very far. If you pull too hard, it's, it's, it, may, it makes you use your muscle more. So you don't want to have to pull too hard to do this. Now, what we're gonna try next is we're gonna add a little cap from a soda bottle and you're gonna put that right on the top part right here. And this is gonna represent your kneecap or your patella. And so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pull back, but this time it's gonna go over the patella. And so I'll pull. And this time, look how easily, look how easily that's coming up. Okay, it's literally coming way too far up. And I am pulling much gentler than I did the first time. Uh, and it's popping up way quicker. So adding the patella makes it easier to lift our leg. It's a function of physics. It's actually to change the angle that your um, muscle is pull pulling at. And that makes it easier to lift your leg. So your patella may feel like it's unnecessary. It's not really... You know, you can move it around by feeling your knee, uh, but it actually has a pretty big job.